like the sound of that? Does this video make you want to eat clay? Where would you have Pika? What's good my royal gang? Welcome back to another video of Royal Zia, a channel that's here for your health and entertainment. Today we're talking about clay. People who love eating clay. Do you get the urge to eat clay? Do you love the smell, the earthy smell? Do you see the smell after a fresh rain? Do you love that? Is it the crunch? Is it the smell? Is it the texture? Do you want to quit eating clay but you can't? Watch through this video to find out how. Pika is craving and chewing of substances that have no nutritional value such as ice, clay or paper. Pika can have causes that aren't due to an underlying disease such as cultural factors, stress, pregnancies or um, nutritional deficiencies. Now clay eating on its own, clay can have its own benefits and also disadvantages. To begin with, people use clay for diarrhea and other stomach disorders, mouth sores, detoxification and other conditions, but there is no good scientific evidence to prove most of these uses. How does it work? Clay might bind to certain metals and prevent them from being absorbed by the stomach and intestines. This might help to treat or even prevent poisoning caused by toxic metals such as mercury. Clay might also protect the cells of the intestines by covering them. Now don't get too excited because the risks of eating clay outweigh the benefits. Eating clay short term may, may possibly be safe but it may have side effects like vomiting, constipation or even diarrhea. Eating clay long term on the other hand is unsafe because long term eating of clay causes low levels of potassium and iron. For potassium, if you have low levels of potassium, your arteries will stiffen up and narrow. And narrow arteries risks you to high blood pressure, heart diseases and even stroke. Potassium is highly essential for your heart health and eating clay long term will take this away from you. Iron um, what, what clay does to the iron in the body? Clay interferes with the iron absorption in the body and this risks you to getting anemia and anemia has its own complications. Long term eating of clay can also cause lead poisoning, muscle weakness, uh, intestinal blockages and also skin sores and acne and also breathing problems. Have you ever heard of bentonite clay? Bentonite clay can be helpful in treating acne breakouts or oily skin. The clay can help remove sebum or oil from the skin surface. This may also give a calming effect on inflamed skin breakouts. Using a clay face mask can help in remove impurities from your skin to treat acne or reduce the risk of pimples and skin infections. Eating clay while pregnant is not safe, whether taken long term or short term, because it's only going to increase the risk of you getting high blood pressure and swellings and even anemia. Like I said earlier, eating clay lowers the levels of potassium and also iron. When it lowers the levels of potassium, it narrows your blood vessels and this risks you to high blood pressure. For iron, now when you're pregnant, you, we expect iron, uh, sorry, hemoglobin levels to reduce because now you're sharing your blood with your baby. So when your hemoglobin is reducing and you take clay on top of that, and I said clay inhibits iron absorption you'll even get more risks of having anemia in pregnancies. That's why we encourage you to go to the antenatal clinic so that you can get proper supplementation of iron. With proper iron supplementation and a proper diet, you will not crave clay. How to stop eating clay? First, you need to understand the risks. Eating clay can have potential health risks as it may contain harmful substances or bacteria. Educate yourself on the possible dangers associated with clay consumption to motivate yourself to stop. Number two, address nutritional deficiencies. Ensure that you're eating a balanced diet and meeting your nutritional needs. If necessary, consider taking supplements under the guidance of a healthcare professional. You'll find that sometimes eating clay is associated with stress or other psychological factors. Consider reaching out to a doctor or a therapist who can provide guidance and support in overcoming this habit. They can help identify the causes or conditions that may contribute to your behavior and develop a tailored plan to help you stop. You can also find alternative activities or habits that can replace your desire to eat clay. This could include chewing on gum or snacking on healthier foods such as fruits and vegetables. 
Last but not least, remove access to clay. Remove any clay from your environment to reduce the temptation to consume it. This may involve throwing away any clay you have left in your home and also avoiding the places where you go get clay. You see in the supermarkets or your shopping center where you see clay, that area, you need to avoid that area at all costs. That might be helpful in helping you stop eating clay. Anyways, we've reached the end of the video. I appreciate you so much. Click the thumbs up button, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any video I post. Make sure you share this video widely because I know so many people struggle with eating clay. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. I love you and peace.